Virgil, um, he did this, I think, as part of Black Friday from last week, but I just thought it was interesting just to kind of speak about overall. Uh, buddy, 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 bar. So Virgil launched um, his own personal archive site, which, again, it reminds me a little bit, tiny, tiny, tiny bit, that he's kind of heading more in the direction of a Tom Sachs. Tom Sachs does something similar, too, with the stuff that he has on his websites, which is, you know, not, not bad in that regard, um, but interesting application. So it looks like... Some of the pieces that Virgil might have designed personally as part of exhibitions or this sort of, just any kind of miscellaneous items, he sort of like got them together, maybe reprinting some new stuff and essentially selling it on his own personal website, which is incredible. Um, again, he doesn't do it for the money, I don't think. I think for him, he's part, it's just part of the game. It, it looks like, I remember his interview he did previously, he says he wants to have a really, really big archive of pieces he's done together. And I think it kind of talks to this book that I have here somewhere, which I've got it. Um, the Hiroshi Fujiwara personal effects. Do I have it somewhere here? No, I don't. I don't have it there specifically. But Hiroshi Fujiwara has this amazing book, uh, personal effects, right? Where he essentially uh, details all of these items that he has, some collaborations, some personal archive stuff, and just puts it all in a nice, like you know, hard book, hard case cover book, whatever it may be. And I think Virgil's doing the same thing with his own personal archive. He just wants to put out as much stuff as possible so that, you know, in 10 years' time, he can look back and just say, you know, like the amount of work he's put in in that year has just been insane. If you look back at some of the stuff he's done just this year gone by, it's just been nuts. So some of it's just like leftover pieces, but I think it's a pretty clever concept. Um, this is a Hypebeast article that says he's launching his personal archive sale. We'll get up here on screen for you guys to see. Um says the following, uh, Virgil Abloh is getting up to clear out um, his personal archive dubbed Canary Yellow in time for Black Friday. Some of Virgil's most coveted creations will be available to the public sale for the first time, but note the range of exclusive items created by Abloh, nothing from Off-White or Louis Vuitton. So this is obviously stuff that, you know, when he's been DJing, he's made maybe tour t-shirts, gallery exhibitions, one-off merch stuff, which is the, quite the master of doing. And again, it's just supreme level of output. Again, regardless of what you think about Virgil, the one thing you cannot deny, he's a hard worker. He puts out a lot of stuff and i think by and large especially when it comes to creating or being a creative you have to know that you just have to throw out you just have to throw a lot of stuff on the wall and hope that some of it sticks and when it does you just kind of double you just kind of take that iterate out again and keep on going but the idea of maybe sitting there and perfecting one idea and making sure it's absolutely perfect before launching it is null and void especially nowadays especially with all the brands watching especially if everyone trying to tap into streetwear if you're a kid out there and you're really creative and you want to get involved the sooner they get something out, the sooner you ship something, forget actually just having PSD files and having, um, you know, screenshots of stuff that you're thinking of doing, Actual, actually make some stuff, just some self-indulgence, so that's what I like about Virgil too, it looks like he's quite self-indulgent, he get, pays a salary to make some stuff somewhere else and just takes that money and just makes some stuff for himself, right, just puts it out there for, for the sake of it, a tall DJ shirt, a couple of hats to wear when he's playing, whatever it may be, I quite like the idea of just kind of fucking around with stuff and just using your money to kind of be experimental, be creative, so that suddenly maybe one of those kind of offhand little, because I remember you mentioned, even seen other interviews that he's, he's always emailing brands and companies with collaboration ideas and trying to get those to work out, and I'm sure nowadays he gets more replies back then when he was relatively unknown or he had a bit of a you know a bit of a corny stink to his name now he's you know a bit more respected in the industry he's probably getting a bit hit back more but i think that idea of just working constantly at your craft every single day and putting things out is so important essentially he gave himself he gave himself an archive show right he essentially put the bread up himself or you know made the artwork himself and gave himself a, a, a retrospective usually you get you know, approached by a gallery or gallerist or curator to kind of put an arc, uh, a, a retrospective together. And maybe at this stage of his career, he probably doesn't need an arc, a retrospective because, you know, we know essentially what he did and it, there's not much range in it. I don't know, right? I don't know, whatever it may be, right? But he did it. He did it. And I was used it as a platform to spawn off other ideas. And it's essentially, it's, it's what he's basically done with that retrospective. It's, it's allowed him to kind of effectively move on from all that work prior. Now, especially moving into a new decade, we're going to see completely new work, completely new direction. Even if you get a feel of what he's doing on social and the post stuff he's posting, you can tell like um, uh, aesthetic wise, things are changing a bit. His, his vision's maturing. It's kind of refining itself a little bit more. Maybe the health scare allowed him to kind of focus into some bits, but you can see some changes happening. Anyway, um, the text says the following on this article. Virgil, da, da, da. Um, the key pieces include items by the popular... Uh, figures of speech exhibition ranging from apparel and accessories 
Uh, da, da, da. Elsewhere, the collectors may cover a $4,000 clear canvas case. Blah, blah, blah. Let's look at the items here on the top. Forget the text, it's not important. The images look really cool. We've got this nice uh, cage chair that he did as part of another. That might have been during um, Miami Art Basel, maybe. I'm not too sure. But that was fairly interesting. I'm pretty sure we were like that. He's got obviously his book um, based on the retrospective, filled in with the personal items that he's designed or things that he's used in previous years. Uh, collab um, the collaboration with um, Jürgen Teller as well there. Um, some pieces from his old Tumblr, Pyrex Vision, which if, if you're familiar with um, stuff that he's done previously, you know how important that was when that came out. Some miscellaneous items as well. Just some cool stuff overall, man. I, I, I'm a big fan of it. I think he's doing some cool stuff. I think it's available now in his store, isn't it, right? Let's check this out and see what it's available now. Let's see if it's all sold out. Where is it? Art store, right? This is it, right? The art store. Let's check it out what he's got available on there. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, it's all quite. Again, it reminds me a lot of what Tom Sachs is doing. It feels like he's trying to. This is the Virgil Abloh studio where he kind of does his own personal projects and stuff. And again, it's a really clever. I think the idea that he's turned his portfolio website into a site that kind of encompasses all of his previous works. His effectively his DJ schedules on there for you to check out how busy he is, which is a little bit, you know, a little bit self indulgent. But again, that's just the way he's built. And then he's got this store where he's essentially got all these other miscellaneous items that he's put out. And this again, you have to imagine the level of output that he does at this level is just insane. This is not including the stuff that he's doing for Off White or stuff that he's doing um, for uh, Louis Vuitton. Any other personal projects he might have in the works. This is an insane level of output. Books on here. We have prints. We have uh, the chairs, obviously, which are priced at four thousand um, pounds. We have tote bags. We have snapback hats. Just an insane amount of collection of clothing. Just insane levels of work, man. I really like this 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 top here. This T-shirt is one of my favorites. The canary yellow think outside the box one essentially think outside the box to 2020 with a, a basically the world as a box with a cube which is got maybe harken back a little bit to the flat earth thing which is quite cool um the cuts on the t-shirt look really amazing as well you've got some good figures of beats t-shirts some great sweatshirts obviously the caravaggio uh pirates vision uh t-shirt that i'm sure you most of you are familiar with and just again just really really um really cool stuff man really cool stuff i like the approach of it i like the layout um, I like what he's doing. I like the idea of, you know, essentially um, giving yourself a retrospective art show and then taking some of those art work pieces that were maybe specific to the actual exhibition and allowing everyone else to get some of it as well. That's pretty cool. Um, again, it's a really cool website overall, I think. It's really nice how you laid it out together. He's got um, his SoundCloud on there, a calendar, dates of all the stuff he's doing. He's going to be at the... Oh, okay. He's, he's, he's going to be at the RCA very, very soon. Um, and also at Atlanta, Georgia, which is very interesting to see. Loads of pictures from his other feed interviews and stuff. So, yeah, some really cool stuff. I recommend you check it out. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. Canary Yellow, that's his website, and all these art materials are on there as well. But, yeah, very interesting approach to things. I'm sure we'll see other creatives in the same sort of scene doing the same sort of thing as well, because I know I would if I was uh, working uh, if I was working in a scene and, you know, bemoaning my i didn't get the same opportunity that he did i'd be copying his level of output because his level of output is just insane absolutely